Porphyry is a textual term for an igneous rock consisting of large grained crystals such as feldspar or quartz dispersed in a fine grained feldspar thick matrix or ground mass. The larger crystals are called phenocrysts. In its non geologic, traditional use, the term porphyry refers to the purple red form of this stone, valued for its appearance. The term porphyry is from Greek and means purple. Purple was the color of royalty, and the imperial porphyry was a deep purple igneous rock with large crystals of plagioclase. The rock was the hardest known in antiquity and was prized for monuments and building projects in Imperial Rome and later. Subsequently, the name was given to any igneous rocks with large crystals. The adjective porphyritic now refers to a certain texture of igneous rock regardless of its chemical and mineralogical composition. Its chief characteristic is a large difference in size between the tiny matrix crystals and the much larger phenocrysts. Porphyries may be affinites or phenorites, that is, the ground mass may have invisibly small crystals as in basalt, or crystals easily distinguishable with the eye, as in granite. Most types of igneous rocks display some degree of porphyritic texture. Formation Porphyry deposits are formed when a column arising magma is cooled in two stages. In the first, the magma is cooled slowly deep in the crust, creating the large crystal grains with a diameter of 2 mm or more. In the second and final stage, the magma is cooled rapidly at relatively shallow depth or as it erupts from a volcano, creating small grains that are usually invisible to the unaided eye. Equals porphyry copper equals. The term porphyry is also used for a mineral deposit called a copper porphyry. The different stages of cooling that create porphyritic textures in intrusive and hypabyssal porphyritic rocks also lead to a separation of dissolved metals into distinct zones. This process, which occurs primarily when fluids are driven off the cooling magma, is one of the main reasons for the existence in the world of rich, localized metal or deposits such as those of gold, copper, molybdenum, lead, tin, zinc, rhenium and tungsten. This enrichment occurs in the porphyry itself, or in other related igneous rocks or surrounding country rocks, especially carbonate rock. Collectively, these type of deposits are known as porphyry copper deposits. Equals Rome porphyry equals, Rome porphyry is a volcanic rock with grey-white large porphyritic rome-shaped phenocrysts embedded in a very fine-grained red-brown matrix. The composition of Rome porphyry places it in the trachyti-urolatite classification of the QAPF diagram. Rome porphyry lavas are only known from three rift areas, the East African Rift, Mount Erebus near the Ross Sea in Antarctica, and the Oslo Graben in Norway. It is intrusive. Historical and cultural uses Pliny's natural history affirmed that the imperial porphyry had been discovered at an isolated site in Egypt in AD 18, by a Roman legionary named Caius Cominius Lugas. It came from a single quarry in the eastern desert of Egypt, from 600 million year old andesite of the Arabian Nubian Shield. The road from the quarry westward to Kina on the Nile, which Ptolemy put on his second century map, was first described by Strabo, and it is to this day known as the Via Porphyrites, the Porphyry Road, its track marked by the hydrometer. Or watering wells that made it viable in this utterly dry landscape. Porphyry was extensively used in Byzantine imperial monuments, for example in Hagia Sophia and in the Porphyra, the official delivery room for use of pregnant empresses in the Great Palace of Constantinople. After the 4th century the quarry was lost to sight for many centuries. The scientific members of the French expedition under Napoleon sought it in vain, and it was only when the eastern desert was reopened for study under Muhammad Ali that the site was rediscovered by Burton and Wilkinson in 1823. As early as 1850 BC on Crete in Minoan Knossos there were large column bases made of porphyry. All the porphyry columns in Rome, the red porphyry tokas on busts of emperors, the porphyry panels in the revetment of the Pantheon, as well as the altars and vases and fountain basins reused in the Renaissance and dispersed as far as Kiev, all came from the one quarry at Mons Porphyritus, which seems to have been worked intermittently between 29 and 335 AD. Porphyry was also used for the blocks of the Column of Constantine in Istanbul. See also, List of Rock Textures, Quartz Porphyry, Tyrian Purple. References
external links, pictures of the Mons Porphyrites, Red Sea, Egypt. Rome Porphyry Lavas at the Wayback Machine, flash showing Rome Porphyry Formation at the Wayback Machine.